Justin, what separates you from the rest of the quarterbacks at Georgia now? Uh, I mean, I feel like I, I bring another uh, aspect to the game with my legs. Right. Coach Smart, I mean, he hasn't promised me any playing time. He's promised me he's going to play the best player. Justin Fields is a more talented player than Jake Fromm, but I, I understand the the predicament that... I'll get the Justin Fields question out of the day. Has he informed you guys he intends to transfer? You know, of course I wasn't getting uh, the amount of playing time that I thought I would. Me coming from Georgia, you know, growing up where it's sunny, hot, the sun's always out. Being in Ohio in the winter, it was definitely different for me. The game was a playoff game, so I was trying to do everything I could to get the first down on that play, and you know he ended up guessing right and just smacking me. Makes it. In the 2021 NFL Draft, the My Chicago Bears select Justin Fields, quarterback, Ohio State. So you go back and you say, okay, well, we said from the start that Andy's a starter. That's where we're at. Oh, wow. And he may have tweaked his ankle a little bit. Look at the hop. The little hop at the end.
recover. Bears back on offense.
Yeah, so uh, just got in there with the players, you know, and uh, obviously the, the group is disappointed in the in the finish there. Just keep going. I mean, that's that's all you can do. Just keep going. Keep fighting. Keep keep grinding. Like that's it. So you know, obviously we needed to start better. Um, you know, uh, we uh, on defense. You know, we gave them the 21 points in the first three drives. Offense scored on every drive in the second half except for the last one. Operation was really good by Justin. Justin had one of his best days of his career. 15 or 21 for 208, had a long of 39, had a drop. One of the drops was a big was a big one, had a passer rating of 118. Yeah, it's tough, but, um, you know, I know Mir. I know he's, uh, you know, uh, feeling down right now. So our job is to pick him up. He's, he's just got to learn from that mistake and, you know, keep going. Just a back being special, not giving up on a play, being able to get to the backside, and then he shows the speed. From the 23 yard line on first down, Fields, play fake, throws, caught. Speaking of fake toss here, Fields on the run, throws, caught. Again, gets pushed right back into him as he releases the ball. Not only does he keep his vision, he takes that hit. Location of the football there to Pettis. Control of it. Yeah, the ball goes oh, right up in yeah. the air. If he would have had it, bobble. With the 39th pick, well, it's getting the ready Chicago to pop Bears up there on TV. We traded up Tevin to get Jenkins, you. Tevin yeah, Jenkins, yeah, yeah. Oklahoma yes, State. It's been probably a long day and a half for you, but we're ready to get you here. Mm -hmm. we wait to get going, man. Sounds great. Thank you. Heard that uh, announcer say my name, you know, that's just like uh, that slight heart drop. It's like that's what I've been waiting for. person I hugged was my dad because of how much he means to me. Like after the age of eight, because of when my mom passed, uh, he was a single father. Like, you know, I've never seen this man take a vacation. Basically all the way up to high school, me and my brother, his vacation days were spent on us. It was tough, but it, I, you know, I, I obviously would, would love for her to be here, but uh, it's made all of us stronger.
Jason Peters gets hurt, you're in there, and here we go. What's going through your mind? First series, I was out there, got a false start. I was angry at myself. You know, I was just too anxious for the play, hyped up, you know, it's Sunday night football, so of course anybody would be hyped for that. False start. Offense number 77. How difficult was it for you to come to grips with that back injury? kid he's uh, gets out of a lot of trouble uh, with his athleticism his speed his size balance uh, he runs well he can see the field <laughs> they lead a league in yards per pass attempt so uh, and, and he sees down the field as well as you know at other areas in the intermediate and and check downs and he's accurate uh, he can throw on the run he can throw on the pocket you know screens and things like that which they're very good at especially with you know with the two outstanding backs that they have the, of course the Bears fans are awesome uh, just the support they give us to our team and uh, you know they show up to games that are feeling like negative 15 uh, outside and still showing up cheering us on so uh, you know shout out to the Bears fans so I was able to come here and you know just talk to some kids with a Q&A basically whatever they wanted to ask me and you know me setting advice on you know different stuff like adversity you know what happens when you know you may hit adversity and stuff like that Bears about to take the NFC North y'all ready got you yes sir I think there's a lot of ups and downs you know but I think you know one thing uh, everybody can say about our team is just you know the fight in us uh, our culture what we uh, kind of built this year in our foundation so uh, you know I think uh, we're going to keep improving as a team, keep improving as an offense, as a defense, special teams, you know, just uh, all overall. Bears Monday Night Football in Foxborough at Gillette Stadium. That means Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots for week seven. The emphasis is, okay, they're doing some good things. Keep doing those good things, make them better. But the things that need to be worked on are, are kind of obvious. But the good coaching that they're getting and, and the good fundamentals that they have established that that's that's the way they're going to trend out to his right as they move him and he hits Mooney Darnell Mooney a nice move Linebacker's gonna blitz. He goes left, that guy blitzes. They got the perfect play. They got a touchdown. Bam! Couldn't have had a better play called there. All out blitz, cover zero, zero people in the middle of the field. They have the wide receiver screen called. It's to the running back. Number seven, he gets out and blocks the safety. You couldn't have a better play called at a better time.
not what the Patriots expected. Zappi is brought down. Second down and five, fields to his left. Finds his receiver. Pressure. Fields gets away for the moment. Throws downfield for Komet. go but this is a game that these Bears and Matt Eberflus first year head coach should be really proud of um, today we made some moves uh, the first one is uh, trading Roquan Smith um, and acquiring a 2023 second round pick fifth round pick and AJ Klein um, these moves are difficult because they don't it's just not a move on paper it, it affects people I, it was important for Coach and I to spend time with both Roquan, uh, as well as many of the leaders on the team, uh, to give them our perspective and a little bit of a, the why behind it. I felt like we put uh, a lot of effort forward to get that done. And we came up short and we couldn't find common ground. I wanted to definitely you know, wish him luck moving forward. I know he's going to have a good career. Next move, which was today, was agreeing to terms with the Steelers uh, to acquire Chase Claypool. Um, for a 2023 second round right pick. Do you guys know what his nickname is? What do you got? It's one of the better nicknames in the league. You know, all these lame nicknames like initials and the number, TV12, JF1 are all stupid. His nickname's Mapletron. Because he's got the measures, uh, measurables of Megatron, but he's from Canada. That is pretty good. I like yeah, that. So like I thought it was important to add another impact player to our offense to go along with the guys that we currently have in the receiver room right now. Big body who's physical, explosive, great leaping ability, can stretch the field, but also is, is violent with the ball in his hand as well as a blocker. Dallas Cowboys next on the agenda for week eight, a good old fashioned noon start after a thrilling win as they take care of business against the New England Patriots. Those legs, we saw a lot of this in Foxborough and down inside the Dallas 40 yard line. Top pass rushers in the NFL. Pressure on fields, using the legs again, and getting a first down again. Moving the football up and down the field. When they got to the tight red zone, they just couldn't get it going. This is the play that got fields a touchdown last week. He Uh, today, um, give credit to the Dallas Cowboys and their coaching staff. Our first year, I think we won. I think we were six and ten. I think we won either six or seven games, but we were highly competitive, right? We lost to Green Bay Packers. You know, we both scored thirty-five plus. They just out. There was just a shootout, but they beat us. We lost. We we were competitive in every game. We we won six of them, but I would say eleven of them we looked like we belonged, right? So, like, that was the first step is be highly competitive, be in every game. Sometimes your youth prevents you from winning all those close games, but be in them. You know, I, I think I'm just growing and getting better each and every week, and, you know, uh, my main goal right now is just to, you know, continue to do that. I'm definitely honored, for sure. You wrote you the league's the single game record to Michael Vick's record. Mm -hmm.
Played well today as an offense. Um, you know, uh, O line blocked great. Uh, receivers, you know, did what they needed to do. Uh, the passing game, downfield blocking. So. Um situation where we might get a boatload of picks and still be able to draft the guy we want anyway. What would you have rather had? The, the potential that we have now to trade and get all these picks, or would you have rather, I don't know, beat the Packers and gotten a pointless win and been stuck at, I don't know, pick three, pick four?
2023 Chicago Bears. We got a whole new identity, whole new defense, whole new offense, whole new group of guys that's going out there willing to fight and lead. So last year's done. I love it here since uh, March 13th, getting off the phone with Coach Luce and Poles and everybody since the moment here. You know, uh, it's been uh, just um, just been a dream come true. And it's been great, obviously. You know, being myself and come late on a lot of things I see and what I learned along this journey. People just think that to where if you had a three year deal, four year deal, I got four years. No, you got now. You take care of this year, they'll take care of next year. And that's where uh, we're trying to get the maturity to all the players to get to. Anything that we're doing, we're trying to like learn, lay on a new foundation to get to the promised land. I mean, all that maturity and uh, wisdom definitely helped me get these guys to challenge them every single day. A little roughness inside me definitely get these guys to, you know, you gotta work, man. You gotta work. You gotta go out there and challenge yourself and challenge the guy in front of you. That's where it's not gonna be an easy day. You know, I don't, I didn't want to, you know, overstep. You know, Eddie Jackson. I didn't want to overstep a lot of guys that been there a lot longer. You know what I'm saying? Because they really know a lot of tradition. You know, Cody White hair and everything. So as a whole has been reassuring me that to where I'm doing something correct. It, it can just show you that to where if you have the ability to learn, you know, you have to have the passion to want to as well. Um, it can be surreal. Hey, we're about to work. Zach Pickens, you know, Jervon and D8, all those guys, get them going. And then to where the things that I know, what helps me get become successful in the league. From stance, get off, you know, football one-on-one, -on -one, knowing, knowing that to where you know, there's a lot of different resources that can help you make plays a lot quicker. Having the knowledge and the wisdom I have and sharing it to the whole D-line. There's a lot more competitiveness and excitement this year than